Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part three of the same topic, that is the introduction to graph, that we'll see in Inks 15.2. So here they said plot the following points on a graph paper. So these points have been given. So here you can start with zero and you can just put these points at the equal distance. So here I have just done it roughly. You can take a graph paper and you can put these points over here. So now you can see this is one and four. So always this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So whatever the points are given, so this is x and this is y. So always here on this side, this is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant. This on the right hand side at the top, that is the first quadrant. That is called a quadrant. Okay, so now on, in the first quadrant, these all points, these are going to be positive. This as well as in the Y, they are going to be positive. In the second one, this on the X, this will be negative and this will be positive. And here in the third one, both are negative. And in the fourth one, so we can write here plus plus. Here will be minus plus. So here will be minus minus. And this is going to be plus and minus. So whatever the first sign that is for x and then for y, x, y, x, y, x, y. So these are the points. So this you have to remember the quadrants first. So now this is 1 and 4. So 1 on the x and 4 here. So what I'm going to do, it should be like this. So this I have written here a, that is 1 and 4. Then minus 3 and 7. So minus 3 means minus 3 is on x. So this is total is x and this will be y. So minus 3 is here and you will go at the top that will be 7. So you can write here minus 3 and 7. Then 0 and minus 5. So 0 and minus 5 means this is x and this will be y. So when we are going to plot this on y, so this is going to be 0 and minus 5. So this point, this is important. Many of them make a mistake whenever there is 0. So minus 6 and 8. So minus 6 and 8. So minus 6 is here. And 8. Minus 6 and sorry, that is minus 8. And minus 8 is over here. So the point B is over. So I wrote here A, B. Then this is C and D. So A, B, C and D. So this is the graph. You can plot it on the graph paper. From figure, choose the points that indicate the locations of the points given below. So these are the points and the graph has been given. So even you can just plot it. This is where is 1 and minus 2. So you can see here, this is 1 and minus 2. So this is on point, this is on C. Then minus 4 and 5. So minus 4 and 5. So minus 4 is on the x-axis. And 5 is here. So this is on D. Minus 1 and minus 3. So minus 1 is here. Minus 3 is here. So this will be on B. So hope you got this one. This graph paper has been given. So I have written A, C, B, D and C, B. Of the given points, identify which will lie on the x-axis or y-axis. Now here... These points are given. So you have to say whether it lies on the x-axis and the y-axis. So roughly I will draw it here. So you know this is all, this will be positive, positive, negative, positive, negative, negative, and positive, negative. So now there are two ways of doing this. Either you plot the points and then decide it. Or if you know these things, you can directly say whether it lies on the x and the y-axis. Now see here. Uh, now, so now see here, 0 will be here. And minus 3 is going to be somewhere here. Because this is minus 1, minus 2. So this is will be, whenever 0 means this is x and this will be y. So this is definitely going to be on the y-axis. So now look at here, this 10 and 0. So 10 is going to be somewhere here because this is on the x and this is going to be y. And 0 is here itself. So this will be 10, will be on the 10 and 0. That is going to be, this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So it is going to be on the x-axis. 0 and 0. So 0 and 0 means this point itself. 
So this will be, this point is in the center of both on x and the y axis. So we can say x axis and the y axis. Then minus 5 and 0. So now look at here, minus 5 and 0 means this is x and this is y. So 0, so minus 5 is going to be here somewhere. Uh, sorry, uh, this is minus 5 and 0. So because this is x and this is y, so minus 5 is going to be here somewhere. Minus 5 and 0 is here. So this is on the x axis. Minus 5 is on the x axis. Then here 0 and minus 9. So 0 is on x is uh, 0 and y is minus 9. So now again we will do here, my, this is 0 and minus 9 means it will be somewhere over here. So this is on the, this is a y axis. So we can see this is on the y axis. So roughly you can draw the, this one and decide it where it is, it lies on the x axis or the y axis. Only 0 and 0 lies both, that is the x axis as the y. In which quadrant will the following points lie? Also write the distances from the y-axis. Now see here, these are the points given. So this lies as I showed you in the previous one, that these are the quadrants 1, 2, 3, 4. So now in which quadrant do they lie? 1 and 2. 1 and 2 means this is 1 here and this is 2. So it lies in quadrant 1. And the distance between them, now see here, I'll do it separately here. This 1, 2, 3. Suppose I'm writing here 1, 2, 3. I have 1, 2. So this is 2. So now 1 and 2. So 1 will be here and 2 will be here. So this is the point. So now we have to find out the distance from y-axis. So this is the y-axis. So from here, now this is 0. Can you see from here you will go in the right hand side. So the distance is going to be only 1 from 0 to 1. So that is going to be 1 unit. So hope this is clear. This concentrate on this point. So the distance from y-axis is 1. Now it will be minus 3 and 4. So now again I will draw here. Minus 3 and 4 means this is x and this is y. Minus 3 will be somewhere over here. And 4 will be here. So this will be the point. So the distance, this is in the second quadrant. And the distance is going to be, now, see here from 4 you are going to go this way. So how many units are you going to go here? That will be 3 units. Hope you got this because this is 3. So you are going to go from here to here. That you are going to go from here to here. 3 units. This is 3 units. So you will write here. You don't have to write anything positive or negative. Just you have to write the distance. So you can say just 3 units. Distance from y axis is 3 units. Now here minus 4 and minus 5. Again I will draw here. Minus 4 is somewhere here. And minus 5 will be somewhere over here. So this is the point. So now how many? This is in the third quadrant. So now you have to find the distance from if you are going from here to here. Year to year means 4 units. So that is going to be distance from y axis. That is going to be 4 units. Now 10 and 0. 10 and 0 means now 10 will be somewhere here. And 0 is here itself. So this is here. So now you have to go look at here. This will be now. You have to consider distance from the y axis. So from here to here. How many units is that? That is going to be. This is going to be 10 units. So it lies in the. Uh, sorry, this one will be, you have to say the quadrant. Which quadrant is that? That is the quadrant 1. And distance from y axis, that is going to be 10 units. So that should be lies in quadrant 1. So now here, uh, this 5 and minus 2, uh, this is x and this is y. So 5 is going to be somewhere here. And minus 2 is going to be, this will be because this is negative, it is going to be here. So now the point is going to be here. So what you have to see from the, this is in the fourth quadrant. And from here to here, you have to go, this is going to be 5 units. Hope you got this with the help of this graph. So we'll go for the next one. Plot the following points on a graph sheet and verify if they lie on a straight line. So you have to... First, take a graph. I have taken this graph and you can take a bigger one, a bigger units. I have made it smaller because I have used the smaller graph, this one graph over here. So you can also take one, this whole column as one unit. So that will be more better. I have done it in one unit, uh, this one, one column. I have done one, uh, this one. So I divided into two. So now you see, we have to just see that A, 2 and 1. So now... 2 is here and 1 is here. So the point is going to be here. So you have to put a point and circle it. That will be more better. Put A, 2 and 1. These are the coordinates. We call it as the coordinates also. X and Y. 
then B2 and 3. So B2 and 3. So this will be here. The point is going to be here. C2 and 4.5. 2 here and 4.5 will be in between 4 and 5. So the C point is going to be here. D is going to be 2 and 5. So D is going to be 2 and this is 5. So this is going to be here. So can you see here these all points are in one line. So we can say they lie on a straight line. So we can say yes they lie on a straight line. Now we will see for the next one that is P3 and 4. So again we will take a graph. You can take a bigger graph. So P and Q 3 and 4. So this will be 3 and 4. The point is going to be here that is 3 and 4. 6 and 2. 6 and 2 the point is going to be here. You can write here Q6 and 2. That is 4 and 3. 4 and 3 means this here. 2 and 6. So 2 and 6 means it is going to be here. So now you can you see this is not a straight line. It is just it is crooked one. So it's not a straight line. So we can say no, they do not lie on a straight line. So now this one you can try it yourself. You can because I have not used it because there are, this is a, it is going to be a very big one because there is 12 in it and again 9. So you can again you can use the same graph here, use a bigger one and then you can just plot it according to this method. So now here draw a line passing through minus 1 and 5 and minus 2 and 3 and find the coordinates of the points at which the line intersect. This is important x axis and the y axis. So I will say I will show you how to do this one. Draw a line passing through minus 1 and 5. So you can take a graph. So minus 1 and 5. So where is that going to be? Minus 1 and 5 means the point is going to be here. Then it is minus 2 and 3. So the point is going to be minus 2 and 3. The point is going to be here. So now you are going to draw a line. So you are, can you see you can join easily the lines. But what you will see when you are drawing a line, you should see that this part comes, uh, one part comes on the x-axis. The other should go cross this beyond this x, uh, this y-axis. So why we can see the, this where it is intersecting. So now this is an important point. So now you can see the line is intersecting over here. And here you can see it is intersecting over here. So this is the x-axis. So it is intersecting here. That is going to be a plug, this one be in between minus 3 and minus 4. So that is going to be minus 3.5 on the x-axis. And here it is going to be in between 6 and 8. So that is going to be 7. So you can write this as find the coordinates. These are called the these are called the coordinates. So coordinates of the points at which the line intersect. So the line is intersecting here and here. So that is going to be minus 3. But when you are writing it, you will write here, see, when it is minus 3.5, so the you will go from, this will be minus 3.5 means this point. But then the y coordinate is going to be 0. So you will write a minus 3.5 and 0 because you have to write x and, when you are writing the coordinates, you have to write x and y. And the other point is going to be when it is here, this is on the y1. So, but then x is going to be 0. So you are going to write it 0 and 7. So hope you have understood this one. In the graph shown in figure, write the coordinates of the vertices of each of the uh, given figures. So, which are the vertices? Now, suppose this is a, this is a triangle. So, these are the vertices of this triangle. So, we have to see the vertices of the given figure. So, now let us see for first A. So, what will be here? Can you see this point A? So, this is going to be, this is on the y-axis. So this is going to be 7, but the x is going to be 0. So you will write a 0 and 7. So x and y. Now for b, we will come here down and then sideways. So down means this is going to be x, this point, and this is going to be y. So 3 and 7 because this is x and y. Now we will see for this c. This is on 4, but this is y. This is the y-axis. So what are you going to do? You are going to write here. This is going to be 0 and this point is 4. Y is 4. So this is X and Y. Now we'll see for B. Uh, we will start with P. And we'll go this way. So this is going to be 3 and 3. Because this is 3, this is 3. Then we will see for this Q. We'll go this way. So this will be 8 and then 3. Always write the X coordinate we can write here. At the start and then the Y. So now, again you will go for R. So where is R here? Here. So what will be here? This and this one. 
so 10 and 6 so this is 10 and 6 then we'll see for s so we be careful when you draw this line like this make a box so that becomes easier that is going to be 5 and 6 so this is done for b now we'll see for c this is going to be 11 and 2 then this is going to be 13 and 2 this point this what has this is going to be 13 and 8 and this point is going to be for z is going to be that will be 11 and 8 hope this is clear you can have a look at the graph later so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you